Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, sorry, um, I've been coming home this week from work just being exhausted, which is a good thing because I've actually been sleeping well, which isn't a normal for me. So I'm very happy about that. But tonight I am going to share with you my thrift, and we're going to say eBay, um, haul. Um, I've been promising the thrift haul um, since last weekend. And um, so, yeah, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, um, please hit the subscribe button. Ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I have gotten much slower <laughs> at responding to comments. Um, I just have a hard time keeping up with them now. Um, but I do... I do read everyone's comments and I do try. I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know I'm months behind. <laughs> so if you guys have left me comments and I haven't responded, um, just, I will respond. Um, just because I'm thankful that you guys are interacting with me. Um, it really means a lot. So this is going to be mainly non crafty. Um, and I wasn't really considering sharing this, but um, some of y'all had mentioned that you really like thrift hauls, so I thought I would go ahead and, you know, share with you guys. Uh, and then uh, I got some happy mail. And so uh, I'll share the happy mail. I have, uh, so Tuesday morning that I will probably share tomorrow. Um, I have to go to another store. Honestly, the new management at my store... Um, you know, I've said it before, they're, they are not organized. And, you know, I asked them today, you know, I'm like, do y'all have any crafts? So she says, oh yeah, we have a ton back there, but we're in no hurry to put it out. And I'm like, I go every day patiently, you know, hoping, hoping, but really nothing comes out. So anyway, um, I'm going to go to the store that my, the manager that was at this store, she went to. So I'm going to go there because I know she's really prompt at uh, getting her trucks taken care of. And um, so, yeah. So we're going to start with something I have been collecting for quite a few years. It, uh, you can kind of see bits and pieces of it around here. My grandparents, they downsized uh, t about 10, no, about seven years ago, I think. Yeah, about six, seven years ago. And they gave away a lot to family. They ended up having to have an estate um, sale company come in because their estate was rather large. And every grandchild, um, child got China, full sets of China, but then they had their regular wear and this set they gave to my aunt and it's a beautiful set. I've always loved it. So I've been trying to collect pieces here and there and it's hard to do because most of what's listed people charge an arm and a leg for um, or you know I might get lucky and find a piece in a thrift store <clears throat> all of this here is eBay and most of these have some kind of issue with them and I was okay with that because I figured those pieces I where the damage was um, they could be used as display pieces and, and anybody who's curious this was me burning my hand on the oven so last weekend but um it's healing <clears throat> slowly but they are still beautiful pieces and so i just i i snatched them up this uh over here yeah all of that and this arrived today and I'll explain that in a minute these pieces or two different purchases on eBay 
And first off, a lot of you are going, okay, she's just talking and talking and talking. This, each piece, so this is called uh, Buchan um, Thistleware. It is handmade in Scotland, and every single piece is hand-painted. And personally, I think the colors are stunning. And um, my husband is Scottish. So just two more reasons why I love this collection. So I, like I said, it slowly, the dinner plates alone, the 10 inch dinner plates, they can, if you are lucky, if you can find them $25 a piece. So I've been telling my kids, I'm like, you know, for Christmas, buy me a plate. <laughs> they start anywhere from 25 and I've seen them as high as 75. I would never pay $75 for a darn plate. I think that is absolutely ridiculous. And <clears throat> yeah, just, I won't. But, so there are many different um, pieces, and I'm sure I will never see every style. There's ashtrays. Um, this, this piece here was something new. Anyway, so here are three different creamers. And the way they, the line is, is you can pick and choose how, you know, what is more your style. Um, if you notice, these thistles are blue, and this person made a mistake, and it's are, are purple, and this one's blue. I've never seen any pieces with the blue, so I, I guess that was just a mishap. But so there are three different creamers. All right, a cute little bud vase. teeny little, I would call these little dessert or fruit bowls. So I have two of those. So and as you can see, it's very different how the different artists paint. Um, some are much darker, some are more um, faint in their colors. Um, everything is numbered. Then you have another bowl here. It's really irregular and this one has like little dings in it. But again, I'm okay with that. It'll go into a display. Here is a large like serving bowl. And this one has a chip on the side. But again, um, when I put it in the china cabinet, it'll just sit up on the side and you'll never see the chip. So, and then there's the outside of it. There, every piece is just, I just love them. So there's that. Um, you have your little bread dishes. I only have the two of those. This I'd never seen before. And uh, I believe it is a spoon rest for your stove. It's really, it's a really unique shape. I've never seen anything um, and I've been looking for a long time. I, this is the first time I've seen this piece. And this was the main reason why I bought this lot over here. Then, um, and this one she sent extra because the handle was broken. And I figure I'll just stick it in a case somewhere, you know. And I'll, the way I'll set it up, you won't be able to see that the handle's broken. This, I believe, is supposed to be a salt cellar, but it doesn't have the lid on it. I thought that would be a fun little dish, you know, to keep in my bathroom. You know, to put earrings or jewelry in that I take off every day. And then, that lot originally had four coffee mugs. And these were so poorly packed. The second I pulled the box out of the locker... I could hear broken and I'm like, great. The whole thing is shattered. Two of these mugs that were packed next to each other, one of them came out shattered and the other one, the handle broke off. Um, I filed a claim. I, I don't know if the seller is going to do anything. If not, I'm not, you know, I got a pretty good deal on it. So however it happens, it is what it is. But so this is just something that I am always on the hunt for. Um, 
once I have the complete set, I will actually use them. You know, the dinner plates, um, it's not something that I'll just, you know, pack away and it'll never get used. I will actually use them. They are, act it's actually very heavy and very sturdy. So how somebody broke them or chipped them, I have no idea. Um, my grandparents had theirs for a long time and I've never seen them. Well, they also took excellent care of everything they owned. But, um, yeah. And I have quite a few other pieces, like serving pieces, um, you know, other bowls, um, other things, you know, that I have throughout my house. And, but I can't get my hands on the darn plates. I can't get the ha my hands on the actual, like, cereal, you know, the, what we would use for cereal. Um... Yeah, and I've been trying to collect this stuff for seven years now, seven, eight years now. So, anyway, someday. So, anyway, so there's that. Oh, and then I love this. This is a jam jar. Um, I think it is so pretty. And in this particular pattern, there's always a thistle on one side, and then there's also, and I'm not sure what these flowers are. I'm sure somebody might be able to tell me, but it's always on the other side of every piece. And if you see, they're always different depending on the artist. So, but, so yeah, so there is that. Next. Uh, oh, this I got for the craft room because it's pink. It is big. And I haven't decided where it's going yet. It'll probably go up somewhere high because I figured because I'm going to be slowly making paper flowers and stuff. And I thought they would be really pretty inside um, of this piece. Let me try and make some room here. Okay. And I mean it's big. And the first thing I'm going to say is, no, it is not a thunder mug. Um, and if anyone's asking what a thunder mug is, a thunder mug is actually a... Um, great, now why can't I think of what it's called? A... Um, it's huge. And I don't think it's showing up in the video well. But it is a very soft pink. And if you can see, it's different castles. Even the handles are ornate. Um, it's a whole bunch of different castles. And I just thought it was beautiful. And it's missing the lid. And the reason why I know it's missing the lid is because I found another piece technically identical to it. But in a distressed look. Um, completely different finish. And it does have the lid. And the lid has a really um, hot... Uh, Part of it is a castle. So, um, Thunder Mug. Back before they had bathrooms, they'd have the pots. A chamber pot. There we go. A chamber pot. It is not a chamber pot. <laughs> so, just putting that out there. Anyway, I thought it'd be pretty. It will go up somewhere high. And as I make my flowers, I will fill it up. And so, yeah. So that's that one. Pick that up so I don't drop it and break it. Oh, come on. Here's the next one. Again, completely different, and because of the finish, you can see all the details of the castles. And I love it. Um, I do the bulk of my house, I do in an antique and vintage. And um, when my son finally moves out, this will probably be a piece that goes on his dresser. Uh, so, I mean, you even have, you know, reliefs on the top. And it's got a beautiful, like, crazing, like that, you know, that crack crackling that, you know, vintage pieces have. So I, it's marked K-Dunn. 
I, you know, I don't know if this was like a project piece or what, but here's the top. And I think that I love the top. I think it's beautiful. And um, so, yeah. So there's that. go then these pieces I have always I've always loved lighthouses um, and one of these is in wonderful condition the other one is not but um, this these are from the Danbury mint and um i have some other pieces that i've had for years but so we have this beautiful lighthouse scene this one is called star point lighthouse dartmouth england so there's that and i paid 3.99 oh the pink thunder mug not not thunder mug I paid $4.99 for because it was missing the lid. And then the other one with the lid, I paid $15 for. But I, I'd never seen anything like them before, and they had to come home. There's that one. And then this one is has a fairly decent chip out of it. But where it's located and the fact that I will put it up high, um, it didn't bother me. This one is called Block Island Southeast Lighthouse, and it doesn't say where. Historic American Lighthouses is all it says. Anyway, so there's this one, and I love how detailed these are. Um, there's some, you know, some, I can do some light touching up in some of these areas where the, the black got dinged up just a little bit, but there's the chip. And because like, you know, like I said, it's going to sit up high. Um, you're not, we're not going to see it. So I was okay with that. Um, so there is that. And then, okay, I got to move these out of the way because this last piece. <laughs> it's a beast. And some of y'all are going to go, what in the world was she thinking? <laughs> so I've mentioned, again, y'all know I love flamingos. Y'all know I love cats. I've told y'all that I love owls. My entire life, um, I've collected frogs. Um, but I have... You know, and, and you would think that, the, you know, the house isn't full of them. Everything is kind of like, you know, they're strategically placed. Not, nothing's big. Some things are in you know, certain areas. This thing you can't miss. Um, no clue who it's made by. Um, never seen anything like it before. I want to say it's got some age to it because it's got the crazing and the crazing is, um, it's been there a long time. You can tell. Uh, and I haven't decided what's going in the top of it. And some of you guys, come on, come on, just show me. Okay. First, we have a giant lily pad. So I guess technically you can say it's probably a small bird bath, but it's not going outside. So, ready? Um, we got two frogs sitting on either side. And, um, you know, they're sitting in the water holding up this lily pad. I think it's a lily pad. There's the back end of it. Um, again, I'm sure some of you think, oh my god, it's hideous. It's, it's gaudy. It's ugly. Um, I think it's wonderful. If, if it goes outside, it'll probably go, um, in our Florida room on the back of the house. 
and possibly just sit on the, the coffee table that's out there. And who knows, maybe I'll put like shells. I, I don't know. I don't know yet. But this had to come home. Again, I was so excited. There's really no way for me to do justice on this piece. And I paid $13 for it. And it is so heavy. But, so that, so guys, that's my thrift. And I, well, I guess we'll call eBay thrifting, I guess. Um, but that is that. Now, Miss Verna Munoz, she shot me a message earlier this week and said, there's some mail on the way to you. Just wanted to let you know. And Miss Verna has, um, she's been, I believe, following my channel almost from the very beginning. And it's just sweet. And I believe, I, I, I'm going to, I believe she has a YouTube channel. So I'm going to put her um, link below because she does some beautiful stuff. And the stuff she has sent to me, um, she first sent me uh, my very first uh, subscriber giveaway. Um, she sent in a, a really big, I think she, if I remember correct, she did every, every possible way to enter she did. And it was amazing. Um, I'll probably have to pull it out and, and just show you guys because she's, she's awesome. But so she sent me some happy mail. Um, I opened it, but I haven't pulled it out yet. Uh, we got a card. I'm take a peek. Come on. Oh, come on. Be happy, be bright, be you. Uh, hope you're feeling better with your stress level. Hope this happy mail brings a smile to your face. I saw someone else sent you the chipboard stickers um, with I was sending... Um, feel free to pass it on if you like. I saw the swan's button and thought of you. Take care of yourself and try not to stress. Sending much love, Verna. Um, she is... She's She's been very supportive. And um, I'm still... Um, I haven't done a lot of crafting. Y'all know that. But... Um, there's quite a few actually that I want to make special items for, but I, she's definitely one of them. Um, but a lot of you are on a list of, um, where I want to make something special for you. And anyway, Miss Verna, thank you. I love the card and I love your kind words. And so... I believe she's talking about Let's Cruise. This is one of my favorite um, Cartabella um, collections that is not easy to get a hold of, actually. But, um, yes, I have quite a few of this. And I, I may um, share some of it if I know other people are into cruising as much as I am. But it will get, you know... Of the chipboards I have, they'll get used because I have tons of cruising that I still have to scrapbook. And then I don't have this collection, but I love this chipboard mainly because of the swimsuit, the flip flops, the bike, and um, this little um, camper up here. I just think it is so fun and squeeze the day. And I, I love that because one of my favorite sayings is carpe diem, you know, seize the day. So I love that. Thank you, Miss Verna. And then this one here, good times and tan lines. Now, I gave up my tan lines a long time ago because I don't want to scare anybody with me in a swimsuit. But life's better in flip-flops. That is very true. We have awesome pineapple. Um, I love fanta orange fanta so that's what i think of when i see that one so love that okay and these sprays are beautiful i don't know i don't recall seeing these in tuesday morning so i'm not sure where miss verna got these but they're gorgeous 
Um, I could actually see both of these in some Christmas projects. I mean, look at that. So I can use that, you know, to anchor it down into the piece. And then this one kind of looks like icicles almost. So there's those. Very pretty. Okay, and these are gorgeous too. I don't know where she got all this Prima. Because I don't recall seeing this Prima in Tuesday morning. But look, it's got feathers to help decorate. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's like silk and some tulle. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. That is, that's gorgeous. Love it. Oh, I'm getting Prima spoiled here. These are two hearts in purple. And I love the little um, floral sprays on those as well. Thank you, thank you. And then we have some beautiful flowers. Love the flowers. They're earth tones, and I love earth and jewel tones, so um, those will definitely get put to use. Love them, love them. And then these adorable uh, bows, they're supposed to look like, well, this one is a butterfly. And I think this one got damaged, but that's okay, because I can fix that. Um, that'll be easy to fix. That's just a little E6000, I think, that um, I can do with that. So, love those. So, that one actually is supposed to be like a flower, and that's the butterfly. But the gems are here, so we'll just put them back where they belong, and no one will ever know the difference. And this is perfect, because I need... Uh, I have to find... I want stuff on my walls that don't take a lot of space. And this... I can hang this clip up on the wall and then like swap my cards out or pictures or whatever. So I haven't seen one of these. I love this. Thank you so much. Love that. And then look at the buttons. Oh my goodness. They're adorable. Oh, these are so cute. So, little flamingo buttons. And the wings, it looks like it, so it's like a two-piece. So the wing um, goes through the back. And it gets locked in place when you stitch it down to, to whatever it is you're doing. I love, Miss Verna, thank you so much. I love all of this. Um, you didn't have to do it, um, but I do. I love all of it. Um, I'm hoping to get crafty, like regularly crafty soon. I'm hoping, uh, if, if I continue to be tired, like I am this week with work, anything that's crafty will probably fall on the weekends because I seriously, I come home and by seven o'clock I'm ready to be in bed and by eight o'clock I'm out. I mean, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm probably cutting down the trees. My husband's usually cutting the trees down, but I, I'm pretty certain I've been cutting my share down this week. Um, so, but the goal is, is to start getting um, at least once a week something crafty with you guys. Um, this weekend, uh, I'm not going to promise tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, it's Sunday. We're doing an unboxing and review of some new Arteza items. Um, I'm collaborating with Arteza. And I'm wanting to get started on some Christmas cards. So I will be unboxing and reviewing the Arteza and using the Arteza on some cards that I want to work on. So you'll actually get to see how I work. Uh, I was toying with going live, but I decided it's best if I don't go live. So um, I believe next weekend, the following weekend, we'll have... Um, We'll do another live, uh, you know, craft and chat with me. I haven't done those in a while, and I, we always had a lot of fun. So, um, those average anywhere from an hour to hour and a half. I mean, we have a good time chit-chatting, and a lot of you ladies are just awesome and um, need to get chatting with you guys. So, this is my, the Happy Mail, the Thrift, and the eBay. And... 
Um, I have some other stuff I have to share too, but like I said, I've been so tired this week that I've totally lost track. Anyway, as always, you guys are amazing. Um, I keep getting all these wonderful, um, encouraging emails from y'all or comments and, um, it means the world. So anybody who's been worried, um, I've switched apartments. It worked out best. I took a pay cut, but that is okay. Um, money isn't everything, especially if you're not happy anymore. Um, I, I loved my job, but some changes happened that I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stay a part of. So anyway, hope you guys had a great week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend planned and you will see me tomorrow. Um, and you will see me Sunday. It's just, I'm not sure if, if it's the craft, the Arteza and craft or, or what yet, but I will be back the next two days. And until then, y'all have a great night. Love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.